Absolutely, Joyce. Each threat has to be assessed using a checklist. I talked to the executive director of the Wisconsin School Safety Coordinators Association. He helps schools around the state better respond to threats. He says one of the biggest mistakes school leaders make is not working proactively with their local police chief. We found some schools to be incredibly prepared. But unfortunately, the majority of our schools are not. A school security expert, Pete Pachowski, says Milwaukee Public Schools are prepared to handle a threat, but many suburban or rural schools are not, and some are just now changing. As we get around the state, do school assessments, we're seeing much more closer relationships than we have in the past. Pachowski is the former director of security for Milwaukee Public Schools and a former Milwaukee police captain. He says bomb threats like those in New York and L.A. have to be assessed using a checklist. What I have a problem with is some superintendents not taking the time to prepare for this, not planning about this, not discussing it with law enforcement so that they fully understand what's on that checklist. Often, Pachowski says, schools don't have a formal emergency operations plan and don't have a proactive relationship with police. Some schools leave their doors unlocked. I can walk right into some of those high schools. Nobody at the door, walk right in, walk the halls. It's not a problem. And that's a problem. There are also crucial details in each threat. The less specific the threat, the more likely it's a hoax. Bombers don't threaten and threateners don't bomb. Those two people in, in uh, San Bernardino, they didn't announce they were going there to shoot people. They went in and started shooting people. Pachowski says parents and students need to know that each threat is going to be taken seriously, assessed and investigated, but not every threat will lead to shutting down a school or schools. Live in the newsroom, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News.